the first woman to uncover the homo thugs. She talking about Diddy. That's what these down low b was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the 90s, the homo thug. So you hear about stories of Diddy like shooting people, yeah. blowing up cars. Yeah. Is he this gangster that behind the scenes that ever, is that him or is that Shout people Shout out running? to Wendy Williams. Jaguar Wright didn't just confront Diddy, she made a move that left everyone stunned. That fucker. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm a little yeah. upset about it. Um, Cause Al B. Shore just came out of his coma. And mm. I've been talking to Al and we've been texting back and forth and I'm just glad that he's alive to text. Yeah. 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 Um, but when you think about Kim, I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al. And Al almost died. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Heavy D was found dead face down in the heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And then right after that, Al had a meeting and I was gonna meet up with him because we were in Vegas and then he said no. You wanna know what they all had in common though? The survivors and the, and, and the late of Uptown Records, they were all writing tell-all books. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? He must be the luckiest motherfucker because it seems like everybody that worked at Uptown Records from the very beginning. Come on, just him. I guess Al disappointed you. You know, it's, I speak. A slap echoed through the room, catching everyone off guard. But that was merely the beginning. When you see this bullshit ass motherfucking game fucking with people that you love, that you like, you know, that you, there's too many coincidences. Too many. You. Fuck you, honeycomb. Oh. <laughs> Stamp it. We gonna get you and your little dog too. Mm. And congratulations, young man. <laughs> Run as fast as Cassie did. <laughs> Has anybody asked they self about that shit? I mean, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are asking about <laughs> what's, what's going on with it. It is. Yeah, a lot of people are looking at it like that's the way the new relationship should work. What, uh, to get paid? Yeah, basically. She was getting 500 k a month. She quit because he, he dropped her down. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where they're at with it now. No, but understand this. Think about this. And there are women in this room. Why would you quit? What the fuck is going on that 250000 ain't enough? Ladies, like fuck the fact that that, that he. I'm just saying, fuck the fact that he cut it from 500 to 200. Who the fuck gives a shit? 200k? Who 250k? Who turning down 250k a month? Mm. 
What the fuck is going on in that relationship that 250K ain't enough? Cause see some things, cause see some things. That ain't worth 250K, that's gotta be some dark shit. Mm. Like people are not understanding that that girl quit 250K. Mm. Four million every quarter. Well, I'm sorry, a million every quarter. Shit. Now she was getting two million a quarter, but then she got, you know, fuck you got going on. That's so deep that it ain't worth a million a quarter. Mm. They told a story um, about Cassie one time, mm -hmm. and she was saying um, someone had asked her why she cut her hair, mm -hmm. and she was like, uh, "Well, uh, Diddy said he he just liked it that way." And they said when she answered the question, it was like she was in a trance, <laughs> like she was just like, "I just don't know." Diddy just said he would like my hair this way, mm -hmm. and he, <laughs> it is. They was like so in awe, like how she didn't even have. A thought about it it was just what he wanted that's how he operates he has people followed he has people watched he does all kinds of fucking he's a fucking piece of shit too much money i feel, I feel bad for the kids mm. like don't think that there are moments when i'm speaking honestly about that motherfucker that i pray that his children don't hear it because that's still they dad I know what it's like to have a baby with a fucked up ass motherfucker. As much as I can't stand my ex-husband, I would never want my son to feel bad about either one of us being his parent. You know what I mean? Like, I would never want that. After the unexpected slap, Jaguar took things a step further. She handed over something that could change everything faux tapes, containing unknown, but potentially explosive, information. But their father is the fucking devil. Mm. He the fucking devil. Hold that thought. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I, <laughs> you know, do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister in Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about T.D. Jakes. Like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. I, I but for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred and I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop. And he said that the, uh, uh. And then the bitch is sitting, it's on the fucking internet. He's ah, uh, he's doing all of this, right? And then there's a woman on, on, the, on the dais, screaming, push the baby out. Birth that baby. Push the, I'm like, what? are we at church? Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? Like, <laughs> This shit is looking a little weird. I mean, if Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. I, I, just, I hope it was for money. Charitable contribution. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is that can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know, we going to pray on it. Praise the Lord. You know? Amen. The tapes now in Jaguar's possession are rumored to hold secrets that could shake the industry to its core. This isn't just another controversy. It's something much bigger. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing they did their job? He's a sex worker. He's got guts and he's got semen coated VHS tapes. Real life. It's been a crazy year. 
But the reason why even right now your old interview that you did last year is trending even crazier because um, you're almost like uh, not Nostradamus, but Nostradamus. Mm. You, 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 what you have said, not only on in our interview, but on your own personal lives. Yeah. Uh, Which gets shadowed starts coming, constantly. Yeah, things start coming to fruition yeah. to where you targeted certain people in that interview. And now you're seeing, I don't want to even say downfall, but you're seeing that target that you put on people's backs. I'm seeing integrity wow. show up. Mm. Wow. You know, I, the day of the raid, yeah. I got a lot of notifications. I got a lot of ads. I got a lot of mentions. I got a lot of phone calls. When you said the day of the raid, you're talking about the raid on both Miami and California. And New homes. York. Simultaneously. Wait, New York was Yeah, the that? New York house was raided as well. Oh, wow. That didn't even... Yeah, they didn't even really... Three states working in tandem, and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing? They did their job. He's a sex He's got guns and he's got semen coated fucking VHS tapes. Oh. Oh. Okay. I would have went in in a hazmat suit. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, Jaguar's decision to involve the authorities took the situation to another level. The FBI now has these tapes, indicating this is more than just a personal vendetta, this is serious business. First told us about your thoughts and you, what you, you honeycombs is what you- Yeah, heard. the honeycomb. What? Shout out to Jamil Peterson, he's added a new one. He called him the Diddy Glover now. Cause when he ain't got the Beijing and he say he look like Danny Glover. Oh man. So he's AKA Diddy Glover now. Shout out to Jamil Peterson, I am comedy. So this, we're gonna, I wanna stay right here. We're gonna stay within this pocket, but yeah. I'm just curious. What did you know that was going on in the world of Diddy, Puff Daddy, P Diddy, that the world didn't know? What did you, what did you know back then three, that four Cassie years was ago? was gonna come forward. So what what did you how do you know what do you know about what cat because to, to hear that explain yeah but, um but if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward that could hurt some people um which is why the last time I sat on this blue couch I said what I said congratulations young Miami run as fast as Cassie did. You did say that. You that was a bar. You said this. Did, did you see something being around Cassie? Did, did you see anything around, being around? I don't spend time around Cassie, and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Ryan Leslie. <clears throat> was there something in her eyes that you saw? The way, like, now I'm that. I'll put it to you this way there are mutual acquaintances between her and I. Mm. And that's as far as I can go. Okay. When you- I don't talk to her, but I speak to her. Did you get a chance to see her indictment, uh, what she claimed happened? Oh no, I, I reviewed okay. all the files and everything that she said is everything that I said with Storm Monroe three and a half years ago. Exactly what I said it was. Were you surprised about anything that came in? No. Wow. So- Nobody just... else should have been either, young jock. You diddy do wop bop. Q. Because you told the truth, Jock. And then after Diddy called you, you went back and tried to clean it up. But your all about is off the Stevie J's. You 
Did he do what Bob? Do you feel like that's the reason why um, this beef, but you know, that Stevie J stands where he stands between the beef with Fifty Cent and Diddy? I don't know where Stevie J stands. I only know Stevie J sitting on a drum set or fuck. I don't know where he stand. Man. I know what he stand up in. And I know what done stood up in him. <laughs> With the FBI now involved, the investigation has intensified. A raid on Diddy's residence is reportedly imminent, signaling that this situation has escalated far beyond initial expectations. And I know what done stood up in him. <laughs> take that, take that. Oh. So wait, so when you heard- Bitch, I can't stand these <laughs> Like for real, like I'm just tired. Let's keep it a bean. All these niggas. <laughs> you not even gay men cause you won't claim it. No, you want to sit around and pretend to like bitch. <laughs> That's what y'all do. And then you get these hard <laughs> Jocelyn. So, I'm just like curious. these are these are the you like half man. No disrespect, but Jocelyn Ruff. Them shoulders is. And the way she like running up on, I already know she done strapped up on you. Ooh. Ooh. So, Jack, let me ask you. There's one the, the shock. Some of the shocking. I hear that. Me with a harness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, not a harness. Yeah. So I, I, I gotta ask you this. I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, except many, honestly. And so can you take us through like what goes on like when you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Right. And sex. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No. That he was recording these. Of course. He is the J. Edgar Hoover of hip hop. Mm. Okay. Y'all didn't see him put on the pyramid with the skirt. So let me ask you: When you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come in the what they call freak offs now, yeah. Um, that is something, is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah. Freak offs. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Everybody know that? Yeah. I've been saying it. Yeah. Yeah. What, how many times I got some deep this is wild. So do you feel like people, when they hear uh, pink cocaine, young Miami has to bring across that's- Wait, the two, the, the two C. Yeah, the two C, that's what they call I got, No, I found out, I talked to my drug guy. Because I wanted to be informed because people was calling it two cities, calling it Detunchi. I didn't know which one it was. So I talked to my drug guy and my drug guy filled me in. And then it made perfect sense. Tusi. Talk to him. Drugs with Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk. <just> drugs <laughs> education. <laughs> one on one. So Tusi is the coke, but they take the ketamine and cook it up. And they they fold it into the cup. Now, if you don't know what cat is, cat is what they call on the street special K. It's a veterinary drug, it's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you will always find on hand. Viagra, XD, Special K and cocaine. Now see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So do you want to fuck with a half hard dick all night? So that's why you had the Viagra to make sure that the, the dick involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing your fucking self. Diddy finds himself in a position he never anticipated. The sudden slap, the mysterious tapes, and federal interests have created a scenario that demands immediate action on his part. I was looking at an interview from Jaguar, right? And I want to get your opinion on it. She told a story about how she knows a lawyer 
that walked in on Christopher Williams giving Diddy fellatio for a demo deal. You know anything about that? You heard about that? Bruh, I don't know how true that is. I've heard that sh but I know Christopher Williams. And I know Christopher Williams was a crazy gangster ass Nick from Mount Vernon. From up in that area, Westchester. He didn't play that shit. He kept that 3-2 or that 38 on him and he will shoot the shit out you. You understand? He was, he was, he was rough with his hands with the women. And the story went on and said that a lawyer walked in the office. When she walked in the office, she walked right out and she said it was a dude. And she said it was Christopher Williams. It was one other brother I forgot his name that worked with Bad Boy. Him and Christopher Williams could have been brothers. And if anybody was doing that, it would have been him, not Christopher Williams. Do you understand that? Him and Christopher Williams could have been brothers. That's how close, that's how they, that, they had the same look, light skin, the little low on the side, curly hair and stuff like that. I would never believe it was Christopher Williams. You understand? But that other cat, yeah. You, you gotta realize, when you walk into something, there's very few people, if they walk into something like that, they're gonna stare there and look and just be all into the shit, right? There's very few people gonna do that. When you walk in something that's very inappropriate, you're gonna back up out, especially women. You understand what I'm saying? So now, if she's seen a glance, she only gonna see a glance. Now, if somebody who looks like Christopher Williams, maybe, but then you gotta look at it like this. Was she in the office all the time? I don't remember us having a lawyer in the office like that. Or she was just coming by that particular time, I don't know. I don't know the situation. I don't, I, I want to stay off that, but I know from knowing Christopher Williams, having an altercation with him before, and knowing people that know him, he's some old crazy gangster. Sh and why would he puff it? Nah, bro. Puff wasn't that damn big back then. As news of the incident spreads, the public's reaction is one of shock and intrigue. Jaguar's actions have ignited a media storm with everyone eager to see how this unfolds. The Hollywood house parties in Sunset Hills used to take shit that they would put on their lips and then they would ask a girl if they could get a sip of her drink mm. and they would put the agent, they would rub it on the rim and then when the girl would continue to drink a drink, she would inject it and the next thing you know, the bitch numb and dead and they got it in the tub, screwing in. Oh, oh, they they want me to tell they want me to tell the, the total story. Okay, I'll finish it. So then, what what happens is they presented a bad contract, and you like, I'm not signing this. Shit. And they like, oh, you don't want to sign. And they bring the out the videotape. Hop in the tape. Let me show you what this did last night. And you like, oh, shit, I'm gonna sign this right now. <laughs> I don't want nobody to see that. Bow wow. Okay, move right along. Oh, move right along. <laughs> you made my husband walk away. I don't even know what to say. Shout out to Snoop for handling that for Bow, but they should have got oh it there. Oh my God. Oh my God, you just turned, I don't even know if I'm old enough for this conversation anymore. I just became like a whole three-year-old. <laughs> I emotionally regress for what you just said. Speculation surrounds the contents of these tapes. Whatever they reveal could have far-reaching consequences, making this more than just a private dispute. It's a potential game changer. To like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut. Like, <laughs> this is looking a little weird. I mean, if Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or Real life. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? 
<laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I, <laughs> you know, do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister in Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about TV Jakes. Like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. I, I but for him to be at a Diddy party, I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the Bishop of what? Like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred, I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop. And he said, ah, ah. and then the bitch is said, it's on the fucking internet. He's, ah, he's doing all of this, right? And then there's a woman on, on, the, on the dais, screaming, push the baby out. Birth that baby. Push the, I'm like, are we a church? Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? Like, <laughs> this shit is looking a little weird. I mean, if Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. I, I, just, I hope it was for money. Charitable contribution. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is that can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know, we won't pray on it. Praise the Lord. Amen. The involvement of the FBI indicates that this situation has legal ramifications that could be severe. The fallout from this could lead to more than just public scrutiny. It could result in serious consequences. Uh, to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house of his own. Yeah. And he was, that was quiet. the worst part of that. Uh, to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was, the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Thank God Kimura got the girls. Misa's son, Misa and Wolf's son, Man. and Quincy's missing. Quincy's missing. Oh. And lastly, after he was questioned by the feds, after I wouldn't be surprised if he was in witness protection right now, which means his father ain't never going to see him. Again. Have we seen the last or is this just the beginning of that saga? It's just getting started, Oof. which is why I think people are so uncomfortable about me being in this position right now because of my press pass and because I'm going to be in the courtroom for the Keefe D trial. If we get to the bottom of Tupac's murder, when that is finally revealed, 15 other murders will be revealed with it. And you will find that they were all committed by the same two people, father and son. Were you surprised by KPD's arrest for Tupac's murder? No. I'm just surprised that he hasn't given it up yet. I'm surprised that he hasn't gone to the feds yet because he just got stabbed in jail. Yes, he did. He's been beaten three times. And I'm going to say it for a fact, I know you the one pulling the strings. Reggie Wright Jr. Stop putting your dirty work on other people. You know exactly what the fuck you are. And so help me God if you don't keep my man out your motherfucking mouth. Mm. Mm. 
The drama is only beginning. Jaguar's bold actions have set in motion events that will undoubtedly unfold in the days to come. With the FBI involved and public interest at an all-time high, this story is far from over. Is that you say these things. You talk about bad boy. You speak yeah. on Heavy D, you speak on Albie Shore. Yeah. And you say like, look who's standing. And now Albie Shore is now, he's being cryptic. Not too cryptic, but he's now. He's very cryptic. He's very cryptic, but. But he's speaking, he's speaking louder speaking. than he's ever spoken before. Ever. And the reason why he's cryptic is for the sake of his son. Mm. Imagine having an enemy that has a position of influence in your child's life and knowing that that person sends you notes and messages every now and then, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is dead. Allegedly. Imagine that. Imagine a nigga that your baby mom is fucking, is telling you that if you don't do what he wants you to do, he's gonna kill your child. And you know he's capable of it. Allegedly. Story in the Bible. Two women had two babies. Mm -hmm. One woman went to sleep, rolled over on her baby, killed her baby. The other woman's baby was just fine. The woman whose baby died, she got up, she went and stole the baby from her, her roommate. Then they fought over who the mother was. They went before the king, King Solomon. He heard both sides of the story and said, give me a knife. Give me a sword. He got the sword and he was like, I'm gonna cut the baby in half and each of you can have a piece and then we'll be done with it. It was the real mother that said, don't harm that baby, she can have him. Why? is nobody willing to accept as monstrous as people are finding out that Diddy is now, that he wouldn't be willing to split Quincy in half. Cause he would. Yeah, he said some years ago, like during a TV show that he would like harm his own mother to get what he wanted or some, something along those lines. So- Well, I don't blame him for wanting to harm that. She's a victimizer and his pimp. She is first pimp. Oh. 